We introduced polarization fields as an optically efficient technology for interactive glasses-free 3D display. The display design maximizes image brightness by enclosing a stack of liquid crystal panels with a single pair of cross linear polarizers. Our prototype uses modified off-the-shelf components. Monochrome liquid crystal panels optimize light efficiency and reduce moiré artifacts by providing a large pixel fill factor. We envision polarization field displays to be operated with field sequential backlights that strobe different color channels in quick succession. Our current prototype is illuminated by a constant white backlight. Compared to previously proposed stacks of light attenuating layers, our design reduces the number of polarizers within the display, thereby optimizing the display brightness. Although this design requires a fundamentally different image formation model where each layer acts as a programmable polarization rotator, we show that optimal layer decompositions for a desired light field can be found with computerized tomographic reconstruction. In the paper, we evaluate previously employed offline solvers and present a real-time solution using a GPU implementation of the SART algorithm. Here we see the display prototype with the front polarizer removed. Adding it to the system optically converts the synthesized polarization field into an observable light field. The display provides motion parallax in both the horizontal and vertical directions. It supports occlusion, translucency, specularities, and graceful image degradation for viewing angles that exceed the predefined field of view. To simulate static scenes with a field sequential backlight, we combine photographs with different color filters placed in front of the light source. Our OpenGL-based solver allows a display of interactive scenes in real time. For this purpose, a target light field is rendered from different viewpoints in each frame. To decompose this light field into a set of polarization rotating layers, we implemented the SART algorithm on the GPU. In this iterative solver, we can see the optimization at the current frame with the output of the previous frame. As seen in the simulated reconstructions on the left, this provides high frame rates at the cost of slight motion blur. Quality of static scenes, however, is progressively increased over time. To achieve similar quality without motion blur, the number of SART iterations per frame can be increased, thereby lowering the frame rate. In our paper, we analyze the display performance for a varying number of layers and compare it to attenuation based multi layer designs. In both cases, the sharpness of objects within the display enclosure is increased for a larger number of layers. Polarization fields exhibit fewer artifacts for our objects outside the display than attenuation layers. We observe this effect in qualitative and quantitative experiments. Polarization fields offer unique optical modulation properties not shared by prior attenuation-based displays. Consider this image shown on the rear display layer. Note that as a white box is translated across the front layer, the intensity inverts. Such inversion cannot be achieved using prior layered attenuators. As explained in the paper, contrast is limited for this example due to deviations of our modified panels from ideal polarization rotating layers. Polarization field displays have limited degrees of freedom. While parallax barrier systems can successfully display completely uncorrelated views such as Arabic numerals for different viewing directions, tomographic solutions cannot synthesize such a light field at the highest spatial resolution. Unlike attenuating layers that can resolve this limitation by employing a similar subsampling as parallax barriers, polarization field displays also fail in this case. For natural light fields containing 3D scenes, however, polarization field displays provide higher resolution, increased brightness, and extended depth of field as compared to existing auto-multistopic display methods for dual-layer and multi-layer LCDs, as well as for lenslet arrays and parallax barriers.